this was my first time trying this technique. I don't know if there's a name for it, but I would just call it cloning yourself. So basically you go frame by frame and mask yourself coming out from behind yourself as like a transition. It was super fun to shoot and really fun to edit. These are some of the outtakes that didn't make the final cut. You can see the effort that went into making a video like this. Um, it was fun the whole time though. It wasn't like, you know, hard effort. It was fun effort. But nonetheless, here's the editing process. So you want to reduce the opacity of the clips as they overlap each other so you know where you're going to begin your masking. You want to make sure that when the two clones overlap each other, that the one behind is a little bit shorter than the clone in front. For example, you can see the two clones overlapping each other now, and the one behind is way shorter than the one in front. So you want to keep that in mind even while you're filming. Select the pen tool under opacity to begin your masking. And since the layers have reduced opacity, you can see clearly where you need to begin your mask. In order to keep the shadows consistent, I'm going to extend the mask and stretch out the dots so that it covers the area that the clone behind is about to enter into. And for each frame, I'm going to move the mask little by little. It's important to look at each frame of the video composite to make sure that the mask is in place. So even when I'm done masking, I still want to look frame by frame just to make sure the lines are in place. I know it does seem really tedious to sit on your computer and edit for six hours. Yes, this edit did take five or six hours to edit, but it's really satisfying and just fun. It's kind of therapeutic for me. It's almost like painting or something, even though it's totally different, but it's like a similar feeling as you're doing it. But it's therapeutic for me, and that's why I also love to screen record my edits so I can share them and teach other people how to do it as well. That's pretty much the whole technique. I'm going to repeat this process for every additional clone, Mandy, that I add into the video. As a tip, you can take a blank background shot and cover any jagged lines that may appear in the composite. So that was the edit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, all that good stuff. It'll help me out a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. I hope you're having a very productive week. And as always, stay cool.